My name is David Olson. I'm a local realtor, broker, and certified residential specialist with TwinCitiesPropertyFinder.com. As the market shifts from a buyer's market, it's good to know how to improve your chances to have a seller accept your offer. Join me as we talk specifically about how to have the best chance to get your offer accepted. When you're looking to buy a new home, once you've found and decide on a property, if you want your offer to get accepted, don't waste time. Write and submit your offer to the seller as soon as possible. Competing with another buyer happens more frequently than you'd expect. And if a multiple offer situation happens on a property that you're interested in, here's some tips that can help you have significant advantages or help level the playing field. My first recommendation is to write a realistic offer. Don't give the impression that you're trying to steal a property. Submit comparable sales that justify your offer. Now my second recommendation is to have a pre-approval letter. This satisfies the seller's biggest concern that an unqualified buyer will waste their time by unnecessarily taking the home off the market and cause the seller to lose other opportunities. The third thing you'll want to do is consider to put down a larger amount of earnest money. This can show that you're more serious and committed to buying. It also helps the seller feel more confident that the contract you sent will actually close. The fourth thing to consider is to try to minimize the contingencies that you have. From a seller's standpoint, each contingency that you have is one more reason why the sell won't go through. With contingencies, a seller can feel like they're in limbo as they're waiting for each contingency to be removed while the home is off the market and waiting to close. My fifth suggestion is to shorten your inspection period. Now I can help you get a reasonable time frame based on your situation for this, but typically a faster inspection period lets the seller know that you're assertive, motivated, and will communicate faster to get everything finalized. My last recommendation is to write a personal letter. Tell the seller why you want their home. And this can be a great way to make an emotional connection to the seller and makes a difference sometimes in getting your offer accepted. Now, the seller wants to feel confident that the offer they accept will actually close so they can plan their next move. Following tips like these definitely affect negotiations and can help put together an offer that is more likely to be accepted. If you'd like a copy of my free home buying guide that includes more valuable and helpful information about purchasing a property, text me your email address at 952-314-9446 or visit my website, TwinCitiesPropertyFinder.com. When you're finally at the point where you write an offer on a property, I hope these tips will save you time and money, but most importantly, get you into the home that you love. Thanks for watching.